Hi, this is Mike Stryko at the Devers Eye Institute in Portland, Oregon. I wanted to talk to you today about determining graft orientation in Demex surgery. This is a subject of utmost importance in Demex surgery because upside down grafts are an avoidable common cause of primary graft failure in Demex surgery. One of the initial described techniques for determining graft orientation is called Mosaurus sign. It's shown very nicely in this diagram from a paper by Dr. Mellis. You can see in the upper left picture the graft orientation is correctly oriented with the scroll positioned upwards so that when the cannula is placed on top of the double scroll and swept back and forth, the cannula disappears into the rolls of the properly oriented graft. In the bottom left of the picture, you'll see that the cannula, when moved back and forth, will not disappear into the rolls, and this confirms upside-down graft orientation. Here's an example of me using this technique clinically. You can see there's a graft here with uh, edge rolls, and I'm not 100% sure if it's right side up or not, so I'm going to put the cannula in. I'm going to tuck it up, hopefully, into a roll, and then I see that the cannula disappears under the roll just off screen there confirming proper graft orientation as shown in this picture by my partner, Dr. Terry. And here's another clinical example. And one of the things, the drawbacks of this technique is that it does potentially damage endothelium with manipulating the graft, but it can confirm correct graft orientation, which is vitally important. This diagram is to emphasize proper Demec graft orientation. And once the Demec graft orientation is confirmed with the endothelium on the outside of the rolls, which is the way Decimase likes to scroll, you can proceed with unrolling the graft, positioning it, and locking it in place with an air or gas bubble of your choice. As I mentioned earlier, a downside of this technique is that it could damage the graft by touching it with a cannula. So you can also use a slip beam to assess graft orientation. This can be a slip beam attached to your microscope or a handheld slip beam such as the Eidolon. This technique can work well with certain scrolls and with a fairly clear cornea. I find that it does not work as well with a particularly edematous cornea and that some scrolls still it is difficult to judge the orientation if there's not enough depth to the roll. However, it is one more technique in our arsenal to determine the correct graft orientation. In this case, I determined the graft was upside down as shown in this diagram. So the graft had to be flipped over. This is accomplished with fast, fast bursts of balanced salt solution along the iris plane or along the curve of the cornea. I usually choose along the iris plane, and you can see the graft flips over nicely. And then recenter the graft, and at this point I'll turn off the microscope light and use the handheld Eidolon slip beam to assess graft orientation again. And this time with this graft I can see that it's now in proper orientation and I can proceed with the rest of the surgery. Unfortunately, with some grafts, these techniques just don't work. What do you do when a graft is shaped in an S configuration? Or maybe if the graft is flat? If you're lucky, puffs of balanced salt solution will deepen the anterior chamber and convince the graft to reveal its orientation. But what if that fails to work? Then do you use the coin toss technique and maybe hope for a bit of luck? You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? It's situations like these that drove the development of the stromal-sided S-stamp for Demex surgery. This graft is nicely prepared by Lions Vision Gift in Portland, Oregon, with a dry ink technique applying the S-stamp to the stromal surface of the graft. Here I am using the technique clinically, and you can see I've injected this graft, and I'm opening the graft, and I can see now that there's a backwards S, so I know that that graft is upside down. I don't have to use any other techniques to confirm that. So I reorient the graft, sweep it into position, and look to see if I have a right side up S-stamp. Fortunately, vital dye staining has shown that the S-stamp technique, as applied by Lions Vision Gift in Portland, Oregon, causes very minimal cell, da cell damage. And you can see now, as I'm pointing with the cannula, that I have a right side up S-stamp, and so I know that I can proceed safely with the case. And there it is before lifting it in position with gas, and after the gas is in the eye still confirming correct orientation of the graft. This technique also works in cases with profound edema where other techniques can be more challenging. As you can see in this 1.2 millimeter thick cornea, I could still see the S-stamp confirming correct graft orientation even through a very edematous host. One other way to assure correct graft orientation is to try to inject the graft in the proper orientation. Our fellow, Dr. Peter Veldman at the Devers Eye Institute, came up with this technique based on a Venn diagram 
where the orientation of the graft is observed carefully in the strico demec jones tube prior to insertion of the graft. And as you can see in the diagram, rotating the uh, tube clockwise and then following the overlap of the graft can give you clues to the proper orientation of the graft. We then rotate the injector prior to tissue delivery so that the tissue is delivered in a correct orientation. In our latest series of eyes using the Strico Demec Jones tube SF6 gas to support the graft, the Veldman Venn technique, and the S stamp, we have had no primary graft failures or rebubbles. With further advancements in technique and tools, I'm sure that we'll be able to continue to drive down complication rates and deliver increasingly excellent results for all of our patients. I encourage all of you to also share your tips and techniques so that we can all advance the field. The S stamp has been a welcome addition at the Devers Eye Institute and will continue to share data, including endothelial cell counts as they become available. I appreciate any discussion of these techniques in the comments section below. For additional information or for surgical training or for patient referrals, please don't hesitate to contact me at the Devers Eye Institute in Portland, Oregon. I very much hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.